Virgo, welcome to this just in time tarot reading. And if you are watching this, Virgo, trust that there is a message here for you. That message begins with. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. You know, Taurus really is a, a sign of prosperity and really says that through, you know, commitment and focus and investing time, effort, energy, hey, maybe some money, that you can achieve that dream. But we need a plan. Like whether this is about, you know, moving a relationship forward, having a family, uh, you know, working towards your dream job, career, starting a business, relocation, without a plan, you know, how do we know uh, you know, how close we are and, and how we're progressing towards it. So it's time to put a plan in place, Virgo. Look, you're usually pretty good at that. You know, you're a details person. You're not shy of a spreadsheet, Virgo, but maybe you haven't done one for this and it's time to, to get back on it. Okay. All right. Let's see what the Oracle of the angels has to say i've got positive intentions okay so you have some really positive intentions here virgo it's time to put some of that earthy practical planning behind it because you know intentions are, are not enough you know people talk about manifestation processes and like you just need to send it out there think better thoughts we actually need to take better action which is action that is in direct relationship to what we're trying to call in okay um yeah so it just feels like there needs to be some follow through some really aligned action here to move towards a dream let's see what the tarot has to say ten of pentacles so you may be trying to uh, buy a home, rena renovate a home, rent a better home. You might be trying to grow wealth. This feels like a long-term plan for, uh, you know, financial security, financial freedom, which obviously can involve several moving parts, right? There's the actual making of more money. There's what you do with that money. Um, there's your spending habits, there's all sorts of things that play into this, which is why it needs a practical plan, but one that is maybe a little bit more granular and more detailed so that you can really, it's for, even for the start, like for the first couple of years, you know, to really maybe change some, change some habits, change some patterns. And once you've got that down pat, maybe you don't need to be as rigid Divine wisdom is here and, you know, this can be about using uh, greater wisdom in this as well. So, you know, intuitive wisdom, of course, intellectual wisdom from other experts that you might, um, you know, that you look up to here. It feels like there's wisdom outside of yourself as well that can really help move this forward. Nine of Cups is here because what's on offer is your dream, your wish coming into fruition, coming into fulfillment. And, you know, what's the saying? It goes like a, uh, a dream without a plan is just a wish or something like that. That's absolutely true. So we need to come back to the unsexy part of the process because it's going to get you there. Eight of Swords, yeah. Otherwise, we 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 get to a point where we are we feel like we're trying, we're setting good intentions, we're taking some action, but we end up stressed and wondering why things aren't really manifesting. Okay, and that can lead us into the mental overwhelm and the stress of the Ace of the Eight of Swords. Sorry. So it's about taking a step back and seeing the big picture here, and also looking at where your own mental blocks might be playing into this as well. For example, the shadow side of this can be, well, look, you know, I know I'm doing all the things, you know, but if you really spreadsheeted it out, there might be some gaps. Okay, Virgo. So might be a little bit of casting light on your own shadow side. But wow, we've got the Ten of Cups here as well. This is really interesting because we've got the Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups with the Ace. I keep on saying Ace of Swords. You're going to get a victory here. <laughs> I might pull one more and see if it comes through. But you know, you've got them with the Eight of Swords in between. So you're trying to create this beautiful, happy, family, stable life. But in the middle is this kind of stressy mental block energy that needs to be passed through. And usually the Eight of Swords is going to ask you to look at multiple things from different perspectives, different viewpoints, do things differently to how you've been doing them. Because 
there needs to be change here Virgo because your way hasn't got you to the dream yet and that can be you know sometimes we have to have several ego deaths to <laughs> move beyond our own way of thinking don't we because you know we like to be right <laughs> okay what else it's got to be the ace of swords come on no it's the knight of swords instead but the knight of swords carries the ace of swords it is about a quantum leap forward so what it's saying here Virgo is that if you apply a practical plan to your dream and I think it's something to do with financial security home family here and really setting yourself up you can take a quantum leap forward you've been doing the things and having positive intention and it hasn't been happening fast enough or it hasn't been materializing now spirit says that sandwich in the middle is a sneaky mental block and it's coming from you Virgo now you're going to need to swallow some pride here have a little ego death and maybe you know listen to some others or see things from a different perspective you might need to to change some things you might need to um, see things from a whole new viewpoint because there's some gaps here in the plan right and if you implement that knight of swords says there's a quantum leap an absolute quantum leap in your progress available for you so virgo go get it gonna leave it there i hope you enjoyed this reading Virgo, if you'd like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, first link down below will take you to my website to check those out. And please do follow along on Instagram for daily readings, as well as free little mini personal readings over there as well. Uh, but you'll need to be there and checking my story for when I put the call out. I am just wishing you all the love and magic, Virgo. Do take care. Bye for now.